Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. As we saw from the previous lesson, you can create a data source on the fly for your merge publications in Publisher. This saves the addresses that you create as a Microsoft Office address list, which is basically a Microsoft database file. In the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard, if you select the option to type a new list from the options shown in the first step of the mail merge task pane, and then click the Next Creator Connect to a Recipient List hyperlink, Publisher will open the New Address List dialog box. You will use the New Address List dialog box to add, edit, delete, find, and customize the records in your data source. Note that you can also access this dialog box by clicking the Select Recipients button that appears in the Start button group on the Mailings tab in the ribbon, and then choosing the Type a New List command from the Buttons drop-down menu. To enter a new record into the data source, type the information into the first field, and then press the Tab key on your keyboard to move to the next field. Continue entering information until you have entered all of the necessary data for the record. Now, if necessary, you can click the New Entry button to add a new blank record to the list. Repeat this process until you have entered all of the records to your data source. To delete a record from your data source, click into the record that you want to delete within the data form. Click the Delete Entry button to delete the entry. Click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to delete the selected record. To find records in the data source based on a field's value, click the Find button to open the Find Entry dialog box. In this dialog box, you will type your search term into the Find text box. Then select the fields to search by selecting the appropriate radio button, All Fields or This Field. If you select This Field, then you will have to select one of the available fields from the drop-down menu to the right of this option. When you are ready, Click the Find Next button to find the next data record that matches your criteria. You can continue doing this until you reach the end of the list. Once you have finished using this dialog box, click the Cancel button to return to the data form. You can click the Customize Columns button to open the Customize Address List dialog box. This box allows you to add, delete, rename, and reorganize the order of fields within the data source. To add a new field, Click the Add button at the right side of this dialog box. In the Add Field dialog box, type a name for the new field into the text box, and then click the OK button to add it into the listing of fields shown. To delete a field shown within the Customize Address List dialog box, select the name of the field that you want to delete from the listing of fields shown, then click the Delete button to delete the selected field. Click the Yes button in the confirmation message box that appears to continue and delete the field. If you want to rename one of the fields, select the field that you want to rename from the list and then click the Rename button. In the Rename Field dialog box that appears, type the name for the new field into the To text box. Then click the OK button to rename the field and return to the Customize Address List dialog box. You can change the order of the fields in this list by clicking on the field whose position in the list you want to change, and then clicking the Move Up or Move Down buttons to change its place within the list. Once you have finished using the Customize Address List dialog box, click the OK button to set your changes and return to the New Address List dialog box. After you have finished using the New Address List dialog box, click the OK button to save it to your desired location after naming it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.